Yes, it's here from Good Today here. Magic Mike back again today. Lovely day here. And now more magic for you guys from Manuel Circe. Magic from China, magic from America, magic from Eastern Europe as well. Seriously, okay. Also magic from magicians in Las Vegas as well. Seriously, and also from France as well. So sit back, relax, as we vlog and vlog more amazing magic around the world. Seriously, spy boxes, floating limitations, okay. Uh, sword magic, okay. With me, Magic Mike. Here we go. Enjoy this video. Here we're going to go as we look at more magic from around the world, okay. Here we're going to go. Enjoy this video. It's good fun. Here we're going to go. Seriously, back here down here, back here. Sunny yesterday, today, love yesterday. Now let's kick off with some amazing world illusions around the world. Seriously, with me, Magic Mike K. Kick off today with interesting illusion. This guy's called Paolo Carter. We heard of Paolo Carter. He's a magician, I think. From I think he's from I think it's from Latino or Spain or somewhere. Can't quite figure out where he's from, but he's called Paolo Carter. We look on the internet about him. And Paolo Carter does some really good, amazing magic with laser beams and magic with amazing stuff, including stuff with uh, levitations. And of course, he does another version of the Copperfield Flying Dream illusion. We saw Copperfield do 30 years ago. Remember that the Flying Dream illusion Copperfield did 30, 30 odd years ago. Now here's Paolo Carter emulating again. The amazing Copperfield levitation did it all 30 years ago. Palacard is great. Just, I dressed up a bit like Tron. Remember Tron from Tron Legacy all 10 years ago? Remember a bit like Tron? Good old classic Tron. Anyway, Palacard is dressed up like Tron from the film Tron Legacy. And Tron basically, basically flies around the whole stage, okay, through hoops. He flies through a great big tube of glass. It's pretty impressive illusion, okay? No strings to wires, nothing at all. Flies over the heads of the audience. He has quite impressive with levitation. So here's a version again of the classic Fire Dream, which is this done by uh, Sam, oh, to, uh, Rick Thomas. Copperfield originally 30 odd years ago. So here it is, the amazing flying dream done again by the great, uh, I think I think he's Spanish illusionist. Uh, his name is uh, Paolo Carter. Have a look at this. It's a pretty amazing version of, of reinterpreted levitation here with Paolo Carter. Have a look at this.
Now, next illusion, interesting illusion to hear today is a magician, I think, again, I think these are kind of American magicians. This is quite an interesting version of the beheading illusion, okay? I like the illusion beheading, okay? It's classic magic beheading where the girl gets her head chopped off. It's quite quick, this is a quickie bit of magic here to see the girl getting her head lobbed off, okay? It's pretty impressive. In a cabinet full of swords. There's an old classic of magic going back to about 50 or maybe 100 years ago to Victorian times. So here he is. The, this is the call the, the uh, sword box illusion or the capitation illusion, again, done by beautiful. Uh, set of American magicians, I think it is. Check this out, it's quite impressive and quite baffling as well, quite freaky. So here is the head sword box, have a look at this. Also, I like the illusions of heads, don't you? Heads illusions are really impressive, aren't they? There's a bit of freaky magic on this video, I've got to say today, levitations of freaky magic. Okay, next up on my list of illusion today is also an amazing version of the flying fireball. This is a magician, I think from Eastern Europe actually, he's an Eastern European magician. And of course, given what's happened today with very sadly with Ukraine and Russia and everything, it's interesting to see again a bit of lovely uh, kind of Eastern European magicians here doing some amazing magic again in the flavour of how European magic can really be beautifully done. This is quite a pioneering illusion. I, did, I found this a few weeks ago actually, a clip of it. I found the whole actually clip now actually. I found literally 30 seconds of it. I've actually found the whole clip now for you guys out there on YouTube, okay? This is a levitating fireball, okay? Done within his hands, a fireball floats in his hands, okay? Floats around the place, okay? Through a hoop as well, flows onto the table. It's a floating fireball done close up. It's a really amazing version and quite powerful, also quite a shockingly brilliant version and also dangerous version of the floating ball, okay? Um, I, I do Flat ball myself, but I don't do it with fire, so this is quite a nifty illusion. So sit back, relax again, and watch a, a bit of an Eastern European magician. I don't quite know who he is. I think it's Victor Tenchenko, I think his name or something. Anyway, here he is doing the flaming floating fireball. It's very impressive, very baffling. Have a look at this as well. That one is that's really good as well. It says otherwise. Also, okay, next up, okay, a couple more illusionists as well. Is another version of the beheaded girl illusion. This is a, I did this a minute ago, but this is a Chinese version. Chinese magicians doing this. They basically put the girl into a box, basically, and they set the girl's head on fire. Okay, the head completely disappears again, and then they get a kind of a it reappears and the, the head floats around underneath the cloth, okay, and puts it back, back in the girl's body. Now they're getting with a freaky version of Behead of Girl again. I like Behead of Girl illusions, basically. This illusion's been done by many magicians, okay. I remember this has been done by Copperfield 30 odd years ago again on his 1991 TV Spectacular, the Orient Express Spectacular. Here it is again, the Chinese magician, a little bit of Chinese magic again, performing the fire and floating head illusion. Again, it's quite freaky, quite baffling, and quite amazing. Here is a bit of more Chinese head magic. Have a look at this as well.
also now why did they choose another great magician this is another great magician seriously i love the magician he's a magician las vegas is cool jason burley very good magician seriously pure manipulation okay the style of classics like Lars burton and brett daniels manipulates balls okay handkerchiefs birds budget guards okay cockatoos uh, he does yo-yo magic too it's just splendiferous magnificent manipulation the classic style of magic from the old days here he is straight from las vegas the great American magician, pure style manipulation elegance. Here is Jason Burney from Las Vegas with pure elegant magic and manipulation. Have a look at this. It's amazing. Seriously, okay. Remember, please like, please subscribe, please as always. Please do subscription is completely free. Seriously, so please subscribe for free. Seriously, as always. Please help me with more magic if I can subscribe. Please do. Okay. In the meantime, look at yourselves. Remember, click links below for two different videos I made on magic and chat illusion. Please do. We do magic, okay? Secrets, illusions as well. Seriously. So please do chat, chat channel. Please do as always. Magic might want to tune. In the meantime, look at yourselves. Probably filming again. Probably tomorrow at home again on the studio. I've been the beach an awful lot lately, haven't I? Like, beaches in caviar in Essex again. Okay? Anyway, look at yourselves, okay? Uh, please subscribe so you can very, very soon for some more magic and chat and illusions. See you later.
and bye for now.